Thanks so much, Luke. Also right now, former President Trump on the move today ahead of his court appearance, which will happen tomorrow after he's been indicted on those 37 counts. His motorcade did leave his golf club in Bedminster earlier today. And he just got on this plane at Newark International Airport to head here to Florida. You can see the former president walking up the stairs just minutes ago, but he's not expected to take off for another hour or so. And of course, we have team coverage at noon on the indictment. We're going to start things off with local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly. He's outside the federal courthouse in Miami, where Trump will appear in court tomorrow. Little by little, we are starting to see more signs of a stepped up security presence here outside the federal courthouse in downtown Miami. This is where Donald Trump is scheduled to make his first appearance before a judge tomorrow afternoon. Trump returning to the campaign trail over the weekend while also encouraging his supporters to gather here outside the courthouse tomorrow, further ratcheting up security concerns. A massive security sweep outside the federal courthouse in Miami with just one day to go before Donald Trump appears before a judge on 37 criminal charges. Homeland Security officers using dogs to sweep media vehicles with supporters of the former president expected to rally outside tomorrow. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Trump lashing out over the weekend, accusing the current president of going after him, even though it was a federal grand jury that voted to indict him last week on charges he stole and illegally retained highly sensitive information. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. According to the Justice Department's 49 page indictment, Trump quote, endeavored to obstruct the FBI and grand jury investigations and conceal his continued retention of classified documents. Those documents containing information on U.S. nuclear programs, as well as the defense and weapons capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries. Trump accused of using staffer Walt Nada, who's also charged to help move the documents around Mar-a-Lago in an attempt to hide them from officials before later lying about it. Most Republicans, including the mayor of Miami, rallying around the former president while also attacking the criminal justice system. This is just, just feels un-American. It feels wrong at some level. And I think people are very frustrated that they don't see the equal application of justice. Others taking a more critical approach, blaming Trump for being charged in the first place. Everyone has to be very straightforward and transparent about it and acknowledge uh, the realities of the severity of these accusations and, and these allegations and the fact that they, again, they're very real, they're self-inflicted. International media also descending on the federal courthouse here as outlets from all over the world line up to cover this historic event, which is scheduled to start at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's the latest from downtown Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. All right, we want to take you back now to those uh, shots here, live pictures of uh, Mr. Trump's plane. That's Newark International Airport, and we know that he has boarded that plane. We saw him going up the steps a short time ago. He is expected to leave soon within the next hour or so, heading right here to South Florida and then on to Doral to spend the night huddled up with his attorneys getting ready for tomorrow. So do stay with Local 10 on air and online for team coverage on Trump's indictment and his court appearance that happens tomorrow afternoon. We'll also have live reports from our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy with reaction out of Washington.